crochet lovers i'm coming with a new crochet top this is a bunch of grapes okay this is a motif i have tried so you can also now try how to do this this is actually fits for an l size okay? you can customize to any sizes okay this is very simple to make and easy to follow i will also tell you how to make this top for s m and other sizes to make this top or to customize this top you need to know three important parts. if you are making for yourself or for someone you need to know the shoulder to shoulder measurement okay so here it is my shoulder to shoulder measurement it is 14 inches okay so for the front 14 and back 14 so 14 in multiply with 2 so it is 28 inches i need to have if you are doing for someone else get their tops and measure it okay if you measure this is this is only for the neck portion okay so measure to the shoulder to shoulder okay so that's your first point get your shoulder to shoulder measurement multiply with two the second point so this is a grape bunch motif so for each motif you need 14 chains okay for this top i have made 10 motifs so on the front side 1 2 3 4 okay also on the back 1 2 3 4 so 4 4 8 so in the sleeves right side and left side so left side 1 right side 1 okay so total 10 motifs so 10 into 14 140 so my initial chain is 140 in case if you want to increase the motive so what you have to do so every time you increase the motive you have to increase in the even numbers because if you increase one it will not fit into the top so if you increase two it might come one in the front one in the back or you can still keep four front four in the back you can increase the sleeves okay so whenever if you want to increase or decrease do with multiples of two okay so that said you have to multiply with 14 I need to know motive counts and multiply that with 14 so if i need 10 motives 10 into 14 140 if you want to decrease it decrease 8 14 into 8 14 into 12 okay that's your base initial chain now coming to the third and final point so for this top i used medium four ply yarn and i used 3.25 mm crochet hook so to make different sizes either you can reduce the hook size as well as the yarn okay so i've used medium four so you can use three two and even fine one also yeah the cotton threads you will get even in 10 size you have to decrease the crochet hook size as well as the yarn thickness so then you can match to attain different size so how do i measure so i mentioned 140 chains are the base chains to work for this top so first you make 10 chains with the hook you have chose okay then measure it with your inch tape for example if your 10 chains measures 2 inches so my 140 chains will measure 28 inches so which is correct 14 into 14 28 inches which is my base shoulder to shoulder measurement so you have it is better to measure with the 10 chains because unless you make it 140 chains and then you will measure and see oh it's not 28 it is 25 or it is more than that okay so it's best to see with 10 chains okay, that is my suggestion you can do however you, you wish to do or oh, i hope you are getting these three points to make your crochet top if not please let me know what are your doubts questions Put it in the comments also in my Facebook page, Marathi Crochet. Okay. For this project, I am using Red Hat Super Saver Ombre. Color is C Coral. Okay. And I am using 3.25 mm crochet hook, inch tape, scissors and tapestry needle. Now I have completed making 140 chains. So we are just going straight to the first chain. Make sure it's not twisted. Going to the first chain. Put the yarn. Slip stitch. Okay. 
make sure both the sides are having the right side facing you okay there is no turns and twist now chain three one two three consider as a double crochet okay so this is for the first chain so go to the second chain make a double crochet so for each chain you're going to make a double crochet so in total we will have 140 double crochet at the end of the row okay so make 140 double crochets i'll meet you at the end okay we are about to complete the row we are have to we have to do one more double crochet okay so in this chain we have already a double crochet so this is the first chain three we did one two three going there making a slip stitch okay so we've completed our first row so now it measures 14 inches front and back so to, on the total it's 28 inches now we are going to the second row first chain three okay one two three consider as a double crochet in the same space we are going to make two more double crochets okay one two so totally we have three double crochets in the first chain itself i'm making chain two in the next chain itself we are making three more double crochets okay so three double crochets chain two in the next chain itself a three double crochet so we keep this as a fan okay so wherever this comes i will say fan because till the end of the top we are going to make this fan okay so now we are making chain four one two three four we are also gonna skip some chains so we're gonna skip five chains one two three four five so in the fifth chain we are going to make double crochet we are gonna make one more double crochet then again chain four one two three four so now we are not skipping anything to the next chain itself we are making double crochet and one more double crochet okay so now again chain four one two three four now you skip five one two three four five the sixth chain we are going to make a fan so what is a fan i just told you it's a three double crochet chain two and the next chain another three double crochets okay now again chain four one two three four skip five one two three four five six chain make a double crochet one more double crochet chain four one two three four next chain itself double crochet another double crochet okay so we are going to repeat this again and again a fan chain four skip four fifth chain double crochet chain four double crochet again chain four skip five fan this step okay so repeat this till you reach your last stitch okay i'll meet you at the end of the row i'm about to complete the second row so chain four then the next stitch we are making two double crochets so one two chain four one two three four we have to skip five so one two three four five so we are reaching the end now we have to slip stitch to the chain three so one two three this is the top of the chain three a slip stitching here okay now we are going to again slip stitch three more times till we reach the chain two space okay now we are gonna start row three 
chain 3 so it's a double crochet we are going to make a fan here so I have already mentioned what is a fan what we are going to consider as a fan is 3 double crochet chain 2 3 double crochets okay so we have completed our fan then chain 3 1 2 3 then go to the chain 4 space here okay in this space we are going to make 11 double crochets okay 11 double crochets so we've completed 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay now again chain 3 1 2 3 we're going to the chain 2 space here we're going to make a fan here again so 3 double crochet chain 2 3 double crochets then chain 3 1 2 3 then go on to the chain 4 space, make 11 double crochets, chain 3, make a fan, chain 3, 11 double crochet, chain 3, fan, okay. This is how you are going to do row 3, okay. Just continue doing it. I'll meet you at the end of the row 3. I'm about to complete the third row. So I've completed putting 11 double crochets, then chain 3, 1, 2, 3. We are going to the first chain 3 and we are going to make a slip stitch here okay so if we have completed our slip stitch we are again going to make 1 2 3 3 more slip stitch till we reach the chain 2 space now we are going to start the fourth row by making chain 3 going to make Two more double crochets so we are going to actually make a fan here so three double crochets chain two three more double crochets so we have completed making our fan then chain three one two three now here we have made 11 double crochet we are going to skip the first double crochet from the second double crochet itself we are going to make a single crochet okay so skip the first double crochet from second double crochet itself from there we are going to make a single crochet so each double crochet will get a single crochet so we will have totally 10 single crochets since we have skipped the first double crochet so 9 and 10 okay I have made 10 single crochets now chain 3 again in the chain 2 space we are going to make a fan so that is 3 double crochet chain 2 3 more double crochets Okay. then chain 3 1 2 3 now we are going to skip the first double crochet then 10 single crochet chain 3 fan chain 3 10 single crochet so we are gonna continue like this till end of the row 4 I will meet you at the end of the 4th row so I am going to complete the 4th row so I have made the single crochets then chain 3 1 Two, three. We are going to slip stitch to the initial chain 3 so we did the slip stitch now and we have to continue making slip stitch till we reach the chain 2 space ok so now we are in the chain 2 space we are starting the 5th row by making chain 3 here we have to make a fan so again 3 double crochet chain 2 another 3 double crochets 
okay so we have completed our fan then we are going to chain four okay one two three four now we have to skip the first single crochet starting from the second single crochet make a single crochet okay so each single crochet we're going to make another single crochet so we will be getting nine single crochets in this okay so completed making nine single crochet we have to skip the first single crochet okay now chain four one two three four then make a fan in the chain two space so now you know what is the repeat that is fan then chain four then skip the first single crochet in the second single crochet make totally nine single crochet okay then chain four come to the fan make a fan come to the chain two space make a fan okay so just repeat the steps again and again over and over i'll meet you at the end of the fifth row now i'm about to complete the fifth row so i have made the single crochets now chain four one two three four have to slip stitch to the initial chain three so i have slip stitched so again have to slip stitch until we reach the chain two space okay so i have come to the chain two space now we are gonna start the sixth row by starting with three chains so here we gonna make a fan so that is three double crochets chain two another three more double crochets okay so in this row we are going to make five chains one two three four five we're gonna skip the first single crochet from the second single crochet we're going to start making single crochets so in the last round we had nine single crochet so in this round we will be having eight single crochet so i have already made three so it's four five six seven eight now make five chains one two three four five then again in the chain two space we are going to make a fan so this is the repeat of the row that is a fan followed by five chains then skip the first single crochet make eight single crochets then chain five fan chain five okay likewise do it i'll meet you at the end of this row six i'm about to complete the sixth row so i have chained up five we're going to slip stitch to the chain three okay so we have slip stitched i'm going to slip stitch until we reach the first chain two space the chain two space also we are making a slip stitch okay now we are into the seventh row starting the seventh row making by three chains so here we are going to make a fan so that is three double crochets chain two three double crochet so we have completed our fan so we are chain up till six okay so one two three four five six so we made six chains you might have guessed now so skipping the first single crochet from the second one we are starting so it's first single crochet second third fourth fifth sixth seventh okay so we have made seven single crochets now chain six one two three four five six in the chain two space we're making a fan okay so after fan chain six then seven single crochets chain six fan okay so just repeat it i'll meet you at this end
we are about to complete the seventh row i have chained up six we're going to the chain three making a slip stitch here to the next stitch making a slip stitch next stitch and even in the chain two space okay now we are going to start our eighth row so there is a slight difference or the change in the eighth row that is first chain three uh, make a fan as usual okay so that is three double crochets chain two three double crochet We are uh, now again make chain two and make three more double crochets in the same chain two space actually we are increasing the fan leg positions okay so i would say this is a leg okay so we have as usual a usual fan that is three double crochet chain two three double crochet then we have chain two again a three double crochet okay now chain seven one two three four five six seven then skip the first one and the second one make a single crochet so we should have six single crochets so one two three four five six okay now chain seven one two three four five six seven here we are going to make a fan followed by chain two and three double crochets okay so chain two three double crochet so we have completed our fan now again chain two make three more double crochet into the same space okay so like this just continue this round i'll meet you at the end of the row okay i'm about to complete the row eight I have chain seven so we're going to slip stitch to the first chain three top slip stitched the next chain also we are going to slip stitch the next chain and in the chain two space now we are starting the ninth row chain three okay so we are gonna make a fan here so three double crochets chain two Three more double crochets. We have completed a fan, then chain two. One, two. We have another chain two space, so we're going to make a fan here also. Okay, so three double crochet, chain two, three more double crochet. Okay. so we have got two fans so first chain two make a fan then again chain two make another fan okay now chain eight one two three four five six seven eight now we are going to skip the first single crochet from the second one we are going to make so one two three four five we got five single crochets okay then chain eight one two three four five six seven eight then we are gonna make two fans so here in the first chain two we are going to make a fan that is three double crochet chain two three double crochet then chain two then again in this chain two space make another fan okay just repeat this again and again i will meet you at the end of the row i'm about to complete the ninth row i have chained eight 
So we're going to the first chain 3 making a slip stitch. Then slip stitch till you reach the chain 2 space. Now we are on the 10th row. So this is also a slight difference. So first we are making a fan. So 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet. Okay, then make chain 1. Okay, we have a chain 2 space here. That is in between these fans we have a chain 2 space. Okay, so we made a chain 1 then make a double crochet here. Then chain 1, another double crochet, chain 1, another double crochet, chain 1 okay then go to the chain 2 space make a fan here so don't forget to put this chain 1 because it is really important the next rows we will be using this chain 1 spaces okay so a fan followed by a chain 1 double crochet chain 1 double crochet chain 1 double crochet chain 1 then in the same in the chain 2 space we are making a fan so three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet. Then we are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Previous round also we made eight chains. This round also we are making eight chains. Okay. So skip the first single crochet. We're going to the second single crochet. So it's first one, one, two, three, four. So we have four single crochets followed by eight chains. Okay, then you have to make a fan here, then chain one, double crochet, chain 1 double crochet chain 1 double crochet chain 1 then a fan again here okay just repeat this step till the end i'll meet you at the end of the row we're going to complete the 10th row now so i have chained up a so we're going to the first chain 3 making a slip stitch continue making the slip stitch to reach the chain 2 space now we are in the chain 2 space and we are going to start the row 11 so first we are making a fan here so 3 double crochet chain 2 3 double crochet ok so we have completed a fan here now chain 1 in previous row we made chain 1 double crochet right so wherever chain 1 is there we are gonna make a pair of double crochet okay so two double crochet chain 1 we have a chain 1 space here we are making a two double crochets chain 1 there is another chain 1 here so make two double crochets chain one and we have a chain one here making two more double crochets then chain one so you have four pairs of double crochets and also we are making chain one in between also before before this and after this also so now we are making a fan in the chain 2 space okay so our first step is over now chain 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay now skip the first single crochet go into the second one start making single crochets 1 2 3 4 so 3 single crochets okay then chain up 9, make a fan, 
then chain one make a two double crochet in every chain one space then again chain one a fan chain nine three single crochets so do this repeatedly repeatedly i'll meet you at the end of this row i have completed the 11th row also I have started the 12th row by joining i mean by making slip stitch and i made a fan okay so what's next step is chain one so wherever you have a chain one you have to make two double crochets and chain one okay chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one and here is also a chain one so don't forget to make two double crochet there as well then chain one okay so now we have five pairs of two double crochet one two three four five okay now make a fan here in this round also we are making nine chains one two three four five six seven eight nine skipping the first single crochet going to the second one making single crochet one the next one so we'll have only two single crochets okay then again chain nine make a fan chain one so wherever you have a chain one make two double crochet so you will get five pairs of two double crochets don't forget to chain in between then a fan chain nine two single crochets okay just do this row i'll meet you at the end so i've actually completed the 12th row by chaining nine and slip stitch and in the chain two space i have made a fan also okay so the 13th row after a fan chain one and make a pair of double crochet wherever you find a chain one space okay so after that also you make a chain one so two double crochets chain one 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 you have a chain one space here so make two double crochet here as well then chain one okay then make a fan so we completed our first step then we have to chain now we are going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we should skip the first single crochet so we'll be left with only one single crochet so make one single crochet if you see this motif is almost complete okay so after that again chain up 10 then make a fan chain one make two double crochet chain one in every chain one space then make a fan chain 10 one single crochet chain 10 just repeat the step just repeat the steps till the end okay i'll meet you at the starting of the next row so i have completed the 13th row i have slip stitch till the chain two space okay so we are going to start the 14th row now we are not going to make the fan so first chain three then go into the chain two space make another double crochet so in the chain two space we are making only two double crochet okay then chain one then every chain one space make two double crochets chain one two double crochet 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 chain one 
two double crochet chain so we have come to the chain two space now here also we are going to make only two double crochets okay so this is our first step so what we did in the chain two space we didn't make fan instead we made two double crochet this side and this side okay so in between we have one two three four five six seven seven two double crochet sets we have okay so now chain one we usually chain up and work here now instead of this yeah directly going to this chain two space okay and making a double crochet okay then make one more double crochet okay so just like this then chain one and make a two double crochet chain one in each chain one space and just come here make two double crochet chain one and from here to directly go here and make two double crochet okay just like this repeat the step i'll make i'll meet you at the end of the row so i'm actually at the end of the 14th row i have made two double crochet chain one so we made the first chain three right so there we are going and making a slip stitch okay then to the next double crochet also we are making a slip stitch and to the next chain one space also we are making a slip stitch now we are starting our 15th row by making chain 3 another double crochet so this row is complete two double crochet chain one in all the chain one spaces okay so two double crochet chain one 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 Two double crochet chain. Now we join this and the next one together by just by a chain one. Okay, so don't forget to make a two double crochet in this chain one space also. Okay, so every chain one space here while joining you make two double crochet. Okay, so this is the repeat version of the 15th row you just repeat the 15th row two more times so 15th 16th 17th is all the same steps okay so at the end of this row you will come to this chain 3 slip stitch and to the second one also you will slip stitch and even in the chain 1 space you will slip stitch okay then you will make 2 double crochet chain 1 like we did and the 15th row okay i'll meet you at the end of the 17th row okay so 15 16 17 do just continue making three rows and i'll meet you at the end of the 17th row i've actually made 17 rows okay so just then chain one and slip stitch slip stitch to the chain three okay just pull it through now we'll see how much we'll see how much this messes it measures eight and a half inches okay so at this point i'm going to divide the sleeve portions okay so we're going to as i mentioned in the introduction the motive in the front side we are going to have four and for the sleeve sides we are going to have one in between okay so even this side we'll have one in between now keep both front and back straight together so that these matches okay now I am going to take nine nine points okay so for example it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is my ninth point so after my ninth point I'm making a marker so just to tell you that this measures six inches so 
so this is enough for me so whatever length you want you can make it but just you have to make sure that both sides are even and also you make the front and both front and back are matching okay so here i'm making marker the same way i have already made it okay so after this we'll work only on the body part okay we are going to continue our row 18 so we're going to slip stitch to the double crochet and in the chain one space now we will start chain three then a double crochet chain one Two 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 double crochet chain one now we have the marker here so we just go there also will make two double crochet chain one now take this so this side we have made it now we are going to that side making two double crochet chain one okay now you can remove this marker Okay, so I have removed it. Now you can see the division. Okay, so this is for the sleeve part. Now you will continue making two double crochet chain one, two double crochet chain one all this way. Okay, so till here I will meet you once I reach here. Okay, so now I am near to the other side of the marker. So double crochet chain one like the other side we are making a two double crochet chain one marker of this side and to the other side also we are making two double crochet chain one okay now it's time to remove this marker so this is our sleeve part okay so we have two sleeve parts now we'll go ahead continue till here and we will join here and we'll make a slip stitch to this end and to this leg and here also then we will start from here by making chain three another double crochet so two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one so that's what we are going to do to increase the body length okay so i hope i will be making 28 rows to make a desired length but however if i change my mind anyways i will once walk it up and i'll show you how much length it is and how many rows i have did it okay i have now completed the crochet top from the sleeves i have made 23 rows of this pattern okay so it totally measures Let's go from this side it measures about 20 inches okay so how much ever you want you can extend it that's up to you I hope you like this video this is my first attempt of trying a crochet top a designed also so please let me know your comments feedback suggestions yeah. I'll see you with another crochet tutorial if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so Thank you. Bye-bye.